Okay, YouTube. This is I I see an important video because I've been looking through videos and that, and you know, hearing more about um, sickness and chemtrails. Now I know they spray in Spain. So I just got back from there, and well, about a few days ago I did, and they spray there a few times a week. Same as in England and lots of other countries. But no matter what they're doing, it's definitely breaking down people's immune systems. You only have to look at the bees and things like that. What's going on? Well, I don't get ill. I haven't got ill for about two years. I actually had any problems. I had a snotty nose, I think, briefly last year. But that's when I was only taking one substance. I was only taking erythium gold. Erythium gold um, it actually balances the two hemispheres of the brain, but has other um, traits to it. It helps the immune system as well. It's just minerals, basically. Um, there's a lot of negative about this out there, saying, oh, it does this to your DNA, it does that to your DNA. That's like scare tactics, because the government don't even want you to take this, because it helps. They don't want you to be right and left hand brain, they want you to be left hand brain prisoners. I also take one called Ulteria, which basically is a mineral deposit that um, has a quantum oscillation pattern with the DNA. So it, um, it makes interesting vibrations and produces radiant energy. I can use them for meditating more than anything else, but they're a good source of um, minerals. I also take Quest Super Minerals here. These are all food. Actually, if it's smell of vision, you can smell the food. You see all the, yeah? There's no artificials and flavours in there at all. I've also got the, the, the vitamin C slow release, a thousand mg of these. I took them on holiday, so I couldn't bring them back, because you know what customs are like with tablets. But the other substitute, you can get one for, um, from Tesco's, but you've got to make sure it's a slow release of vitamin C and you've got to make sure that it's free from artificial flavours and preservatives. See it says there? Because there are ones with aspartame in it and you do not want them. Right? Preferably get the Quest version because it's got riboflavin in it as well. So there's a, I'm going to go and get some more. Uh, this is a multivitamin and multimineral, um, which I take as a vegetarian. But... Um, I'm also going to get the vitamin C slow release one because it's great. Um, it's better than obviously this one, which is a substitute. Um, these are £2.49, 90 days. And if you take one of those a day, um, even two or three a day, vitamin C can only stay in the body for four hours, so this has to be slowly released into the system. You can't hold enough vitamin C. Vitamin C is a real key to your immune system. Also, other vitamins and a good healthy diet. But if you eat consuming E numbers and the genetically modified crap all the time, then your body's going to create distortions and cause your cells not to copy themselves right which can cause cancers and can cause other defects to go on. The other thing as well is in your immune system you have a thing called T-cells. Now this is called colonial defence. Okay, And I'll read it to you. Colonial defence is a superior colonial silver type product, silver type remember, product that laboratory studies show to have effective against rod and L forming bacteria plaque forming microorganisms and candidus which is that like yeast you can get in your stomach which therefore your stomach wall won't be able to absorb all the minerals you pump into it because there's like a mucus over your inside of your stomach wall where this stuff comes through um, it stimulates and enhances T cells activity so this actually stimulates your immune system Okay. Um, I don't take it every day, you're supposed to take it when you go to bed I don't take it every day, I take it maybe once, twice a week or if I'm ill, or I think I'm going to be ill or if I get a slight sensation of a sore throat or a slight snotty nose or a sneeze or something like that, I'll, I'll take it if I haven't taken it for a few days Coronel Gold um, has no it, it, you know, it removes subtle energy blocks, it blocks and um, takes you to a higher state um, I don't know, I don't think this is actually anything to do with your immune system, but it's something else that I use anyway. Um, but I use this more when I'm meditating. Yeah, um, Conodal Silver. There was a big thing on here where it sent a person skin blue. Um, yeah, if you mix it with the substance he mixed it with, it probably would send you blue. Um, but Conodal Silver was something that they used to use before antibiotics and stuff, and it works. You don't have to take it every day. You can take it once a week. You know that you just got to start using common sense because. If chemtrails are either a government ploy to reduce the population, which I think so, and a lot of other people think so, whether you think that's nutty and insane or not, whether you think it is because of global warming that doesn't exist, that's my opinion, but you have the right to have other opinions, um, then, you know, it's a small price to pay in order to save the planet, which is what you'd be told. Um, yeah, but at the same time, it'd be nice to be told that they're doing that, so therefore you could sort of, you know, rescue your immune system before they spray. Um, Shamrim Rose, this is a product 
that um, helps nourish the kidney, the liver, and the lungs. You can get it with like different stuff in it, like eucal eucalyptus for your sinuses and stuff. Um, and basically, it's like this red liquid. Oh, here it is. And um, you put it into a warm like tea, and you drink it. And there's this woman who had real bad heart problems and was near enough dying, and and was given this, and is still alive to this day. Got no heart or lung problems, and um, it does. It's, it's an octave, higher octave food and herbs. Um, I got these from a place called Synergy Health. Um, I'm not saying you go there, you go anywhere for them, but if you, if you actually, Carlisle Gold, Carlisle Defence, um, Shamron Rose, and um, Altera, Erythium Gold. If you actually query them, you'll find them on the, on the internet. Um, Quest, they all do all, all different types, but I'd stay with Quest. You get any vitamins, get all your ones from there. They're more expensive, right? But they're worth it. They're all they're all natural. Look for the natural ones as well. There are some that are not, but the um, a sense of not from animals. If you're a vegan, then you're gonna have to look ones for just basically with nothing in them at all. Certain different variations. But at Tesco's, be careful because there's three or four different tubs like this. And they look all the same. One slow release vitamin C, and make sure it's um that tablet size because the round one's got loads of aspartame and sugars in. Be careful of any aspartame, saccharose, filler lines, filler lines, yeah, um, E211 or sodium benzides, sodiums of different kinds. Um, stay away from any of those products, it, preferably just avoid E numbers altogether. Try and eat organic all the time, buy from your farmer. And um, that's the only thing you can really do. And oh, also drink some white organic tea or herbal tea of some kind, um, or um, let me see, uh, green tea is good, but it's got fluoride in it, but it's got natural fluoride in it, which isn't isn't unsafe. Um, if you drink these things, they also flush the system. They're an antioxidant, which takes out all the free radicals that half the pasteurised crap that we're forced to eat um, is in. And be careful with labels, look into labels, print off an e-number report. If you type in e-numbers on Google, um, you'll find plenty of places where it tells you all about e-numbers and what to avoid because some countries they put the e-numbers on like Spain they have a tendency to put the e-numbers down but in other countries they sometimes use the chemical name and if you don't know what the chemical name is you might think it's you know something normal you usually can tell because they're weird names but yeah that's the best thing you can do at this moment in time is protect your immune system with how whatever means you can vitamin C and zinc are the main things